I would like to advocate within the Commonwealth family that we must have a new partnership between the developed members and the underdeveloped members, one in which investments would be encouraged to add value to the natural resources in the country of origin, and one in which investments will have a strong social component and be environmentally sustainable. We must show the world the meaning of true commonwealth, common wealth within our family of nations. At the level of the individual nation, we must build the nation on the values of participation and on conversations with the people so that they create the future they desire. My friends, in the absence of such conversations with people, that is what has brought about so much internal dissension and unhappiness in so many of our countries. As I close, I want to repeat what many of us know. We are rich. The Commonwealth is rich. We are very rich in terms of our human values and traditions. That is our greatest asset, our human value. Look at countries like India, until recently being described as backward, now showing to the world how to merge traditional values with science and technology and emerge as a global economic giant. Africa continues to prove to the world that it takes a village to raise a child. Parts of the world would, would adopt, to have adopted this philosophy, the youth alienation and citizen we see in so many of our nations would not have reached where it is today, resulting in youth cultures that are very bad for both the youths and for society as a whole. And so we have, as a commonwealth of nations, a family, so much to share and even to teach to the world. We must go boldly forward and do so. Canada has shown us the value of multiculturalism. The Maldives have shown us how not to be limited by smallness. And so as chair in office of the Commonwealth, I intend to initiate even greater dialogue between the people of the Commonwealth, between youths, women, leaders, and to even find innovative ways for children of the Commonwealth to speak with each other and learn for each other, from each other. I intend to discuss with Secretary General Kamlesh the idea of, a com of Commonwealth youth ambassadors traveling to other countries to promote the Commonwealth. We do have youth ambassadors at the time from nations, but we don't have Commonwealth youth ambassadors. And so we will initiate discussion on the first Commonwealth youth parliament, where the youth of the Commonwealth could be given the opportunity to speak and debate and therefore influence policy. I intend to find ways and means where the best practices that relate to the development of women and girls in the Commonwealth are documented and shared with each other. The example of the Grameen Bank of Professor Mohammed and his success is one that comes to mind in this regard. Lasting peace cannot be achieved unless large population groups find ways in which to break out of poverty. Friends, family, we can together change the fortunes of our brothers and sisters in the Commonwealth. No one of our members must be left behind. We must rise together, for if one were to rise at the expense of the other, none would have risen. I intend to raise the profile of the Commonwealth in the eyes of the world, for we have proven to be an organization capable of change and to lift in the status of people everywhere. To this, I am committed. I want to thank you again for joining us this evening and to spend some time with us in conversation and say to you all, may God bless you and may God continue to bless the Commonwealth. I thank you.